what up everybody welcome back to the channel today on fitness tech reviews we're going to be going over two very popular gps smartwatches in the charge 4 and the garmin forerunner 235 they're very similar but let's go ahead and go and get into the differences let's start with the similarities so as far as they're concerned they're both around the same price range the Charge 4 around 150, where the Garmin 4Runner 235s around 160. They both have GPS and GLONASS supported right in, so they're very accurate with their GPS, but we'll get into that in a second. And they both have great battery life with good support. Fitbit is a great company, and so is Garmin. Let's get into the differences. First one is their screen. The Fitbit Charge 4 has a backlit display that is monochrome, so it's only gonna be black and white, where the Garmin 235 has a 1.23 inch display. It is colored, but I mean, not the most vibrant. The biggest difference between the two is it's performant and direct sunlight. So if you are going on a run with either one of these and you gotta consistently check your pace to see where it's at, the Garmin does so much better. Even though it might look a little less bright here, in direct sunlight, it's a lot easier to read. And as far as the durability is concerned with the two, the Garmin is more of a plastic, whereas the Fitbit does have more of a glass, so the Fitbit will be a little bit more durable. Let's get into battery life. So the battery life on the Charge 4 is about five to seven days, counts on how much things you put on, but if you want it to be a full fitness tracker, about seven days. And if you want to keep the GPS and GLONASS on, it's about five hours. Whereas the Garmin 235 can reach about nine days as just a watch itself, but if you want to use the GPS and the GLONASS, it's about nine hours. So you do get better battery life with the Garmin. So if you're going on longer runs, maybe triathlete type stuff, the Garmin's gonna be where it's at. Let's get into its high intensity interval training performance. Both of them weren't the best. Both of them tend to go a little bit lower and especially with wrist flexion and stuff like that, they tended to lose your heart rate a little bit more. I did feel as though the Fitbit did work a lot better even though it didn't really catch me on the higher intervals with that training. It took it a little bit longer to catch up, but it was way more accurate than the Garmin. The Garmin wasn't really accurate at all in my high intensity interval training. So if you were to pick one over the other, I would pick the Charge 4, but in the end of the day, they both don't work that great. Let's get into sleep tracking. So sleep tracking, they both have good battery life, so you can wear it while you sleep. The Charge 4 is actually very, very good with its sleep tracking. I used my Whoop for sleep tracking, and it was very accurate between the two, where the Garmin, it didn't track your REM sleep, and in a general sense, really didn't see when I was awake and stuff like that. So the Garmin wasn't that great with sleep tracking. It's still relatively doable, but actually the Charge 4 did a great job with sleep tracking. So I would definitely recommend the Charge 4 if you're looking for some help with sleep tracking. Let's get into the GPS performance. So right over here, I'll show you the GPS performance of my Garmin. It worked really well with my one mile run and even around a little track as well. I thought the track was a, uh, it was a quarter mile track. It was actually a 0.2 mile track, so there's that. But it was very accurate in that regard. Whereas the Charge 4 right over here, as you can tell, I, I don't know what really happened, but I left my phone at home because I wanted to use this GPS, and it didn't track my way out, but it tracked my way back pretty well. But as you can tell, it did skip here and there, so it wasn't really that accurate. It didn't have as much sampling points as the Garmin did. So if you were looking for something with more accurate GPS locations, the Garmin is where it's at. All right, let's get into the app now. So with the app, they are two different apps, but they are robust in the things that they do. The Fitbit and the Garmin community does a lot of amazing things. The bonuses of the two, the Fitbit does have a little bit bigger of an ecosystem with a lot more people in it I've seen from it. But if you are looking for like extra tracks, there are people in your area that build in their own tracks that they share with other people. So like a trail or something like that. So you can get into that ecosystem with different things like that. Also, they both have workouts built in, so that's awesome as well. Also, the Charge 4 has stuff like Spotify and also has Fitbit Pay, so there's some extra benefits when it comes to the Charge 4. Mm -hmm. 
Let's go ahead and get into my recommendation between these two fitness trackers. If you are looking for something that's going to help you train with running, if it's going to help you train with cycling or even swimming, the Garmin is where it's at. Its GPS is really unmatched, and not only that, you can check your pace and stuff like that, and the battery life is better than the Charge 4. So if you are looking for stuff like that, and not only that, the community of runners, cyclers in this app is amazing as well. Not saying the Charge 4 is horrible in that extent, but its GPS tracking isn't that great. If you have your phone on you, you can actually use your phone's GPS, which will be a lot more accurate in that regard, but if you're looking to keep your phone at home, the Garmin is where it's at. Another reason why you want to pick the Garmin over the Fitbit is its screen and be able to check down at your pace and stuff like that. But other than that, I would choose the Charge 4 over the Garmin for a lot of other things. It's sleep tracking, it's high intensity interval training is a bit better than the Garmin where it's run training is also great as well. And it's ecosystem and it's app work very well. It might not be the best screen in the world, but it's doable. So basically if you're a runner, cycler or swimmer, go with the Garmin. If you're just looking to get high intensity interval training and overall fitness band work and get great sleep tracking, I'd go with the Charge 4. But hopefully this was all great information for you guys. Please smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. I got two different tech reviews each and every week that we can go over. And if you use my links down below in the description and go to Amazon to buy these products, a little bit of that will help me grow my channel. But as always guys, stay happy, stay healthy, and above all, stay positive. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.